Chairman, this covert campaign of vilification carried on by staff members of your committee is in direct violation of Rule 40 of the Rules of Procedure for the Select Committee. That rule strictly prohibits staff members from leaking substantive materials. Repeatedly, I have asked of Mr. Dash and Mr. Lenzner information that they might have to justify such allegations. Repeatedly, they have denied to me that they have such documents. When I asked Mr. Lenzner who on the committee staff was responsible, he responded, Mr. Buchanan, you ought to know that you can't believe everything you read in the newspapers. It was his joke and my reputation. So it seems fair to me to ask, how can this select committee set itself up as the ultimate arbiter of American political ethics if it cannot even control the character of assassins within its own ranks? In my judgment, the president is entitled to have kept secret confidential information, or confidential communications made to him by or aid, or even confidential communications among his aides, which are had for the purpose of enabling him to perform in a lawful manner his constitutional and legal duties. <coughs> Further than that, con uh, executive privilege does not go. Since it's not a part of the official duty of a president to run for re-election, and since uh, it's not the uh, official duty of a president to uh, conceal uh, evidence of wrongdoing, I don't think the president has the right to withhold any information in his possession that deals with political activities. Well, first, Mr. Chairman. which deals <coughs> with wrongdoing. Well, Mr. Chairman, and just one minute. I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm gratified to know that former Attorney General uh, John N. Mitchell agreed with me on my view of uh, executive privilege at the time he was for this committee.